All right then, my friends. So here on out, we're going to start to use some of the JavaScript components of Materialize. So to do that, what we'll be doing is using jQuery ever so slightly. So we'll need to download that. So you want to go to jQuery.com forward slash download and grab this one down here. Download the compressed production jQuery. So just up here, copy. And we're going to paste this into our project. So come to the bottom of your body tag and create that script tag. And the source is going to be equal to what we just copied. So we're loading in that. Now, I said at the start of this series, place this script at the top. But what we'll do is just grab that now and paste it at the bottom, just beneath jQuery. Because it's always good to place your script at the bottom of the body tag rather than up in the head. Okay, so we still have this container right here, but what I want to do is get rid of that for now. We'll also get rid of this stuff up here. We don't need those styles anymore, so let's just shoot those away. And then what I'd like to do is create this navbar. Now, we can customize a navbar in several ways in Materialize, but each and every one of them is going to have a nav at the top with a class of nav hyphen wrapper. And that is your basic navbar created. So if I save this now and view this in a browser, you're going to see this navbar straight away at the top with a shadow. I don't particularly like this color. So what I'm going to do is just color this indigo instead to give it a background color. Save that and view it in a browser. All right, so that looks a bit better to me. Okay, so now if we wanted to, what we could do is just add in some content in here. So if I do a UL and then Underneath that, we'll do an li tag, and then inside here, we'll do an anchor tag. And the anchor tag can say something like home, and then we'll copy this and just paste it a couple of times down below, like so. And we'll say something like about, and then contact, and then finally, underneath that, we'll say login. All right, so if I save that now and view this in a browser, then we should see those all in the navbar. That's pretty cool, right? And they have a nice hover effect as well. Okay, so that's fine. But if I make this full width and zoom out, you can see they're always over on the left over here. Now, a lot of the time, we like to keep them within a central column. So to do that, all we need to do is wrap everything inside our nav inside a container. So I can say div.container like so. Then inside the container, we'll just copy this dude and paste it right in. So now let's just zoom this back a little bit. If we save and view this in the browser, we can see inside a central column now. That's better in my opinion. So let's zoom back in so we can see that. All right. Now the next thing I'm going to do is add in some kind of brand logo or brand title. That is the title of the website. So what I'll do inside the container again above the UL is add in an anchor tag. And this is going to have a class of brand hyphen logo. All right. So this is where we could place maybe an image, which would be our logo or even just the site title in text form. So if I save this now, view this in a browser, we're going to see this site title, but it's over our links or rather our links are over the site title. So what I'd like to do is position our links over on the right. So to do that, I'm going to come down to this UL and I'm going to give this a class right here. And this class is going to say right. So now it's going to float those links over to the right and they're not covering up this site title. Now, if we wanted to do this the other way around, I could say something like center for this and left for the links. And that's equally going to be just as good. We get the site title there and the links there or even place this to the right if we wanted to, and um, we don't even need left on this because it's automatically going to be on the left to begin with. And we can see we need to spell right correctly. Now we get the site title over there and this over here. So what I'd like to do instead is just keep this on the left and then float this to the right. OK, so now we get those links and we get the site title. And that's pretty much it for a desktop navbar. That's all there is to it. We've made this nice nav now with very little HTML and no CSS. And as you can see, as we get a little smaller, the logo or the title goes in the middle. Now, as we get smaller still, what we'd like to do is create some kind of mobile 
navigation with a little button that slides something out with the links instead of this happening where they're all squashed up together. So how are we going to do that? Well, it's pretty simple to do. The first step is to create another anchor tag first of all, and this is going to have a class of side bar hyphen trigger. Okay, so it's going to go nowhere. So place a little hash there. And then inside here, what we'll do is add a little icon, which is going to be one of those burger menus. So we know how to do icons. It's an I tag with a class of material hyphen icons, and then the keyword for whatever icon we want. So we want the menu icon, save that, and let's view it. Now we can see that icon over here. The links are hidden by the way now, but what we'll do is just come back over here. We have the icon, and now for this one, we don't want to show these links when it gets to medium sized screen and down, but for desktop we do. So let's say right here, hide on mid and down and save that. Okay. So when we get to smaller screens, they're not going to show and it's going to look something like this. All right. So now then this thing right here, this is going to be responsible for toggling our mobile menu. But first of all, we need to make that mobile menu, those links. So outside of the nav itself, what I'm going to do is create another UL. So this UL is going to have a class of side nav. And it's also going to have an ID property. And we'll use this ID property in a minute when we come to target this UL for when we click on this, this button. So we'll explain this in a minute. But for now, just give this a UL, um, an ID of mobile hyphen links. OK, so inside here now, what we want to do is just add in these three links right here. So let's paste those in and scoot them back a little bit. OK, so now we have this side nav. And this right here is only going to show on mobile. So what we need to do is say to materialize, look, when someone clicks on this thing right here, this sidebar trigger, I want this to be the thing that shows that pops out these links. So the way we do that is by giving this a data target attribute and setting that equal to whatever ID we gave this thing right here. So in this case, mobile links. Save that. Now, if we try it at the minute, nothing works when we click on it. And that's because we have to activate this functionality using JavaScript or a bit of jQuery. So down here, right at the bottom, below these other script tags, create another script tag. And then inside, we're going to use jQuery to say document.ready. So when the document is finished loading, then we want to fire this function. And inside this function, all we want to do is grab the side nav, which is this thing right here. So let's grab that side nav. And then we want to use a method on this side nav provided by materialize called side nav like so. OK, so if I save this now and try this, still it doesn't work. So I suspect we've named something incorrectly and it is incorrect. It's this thing which should be side nav trigger. OK, so let's hope this works now. Save that. And now this works. We can see a side mobile menu. We can click over here to close it. And for larger screens, this should go away. And instead, we get these links as well. So how awesome is that? There's a nice responsive menu at the top now. And that's taken very little work for us to set up. All we've done is create this nav wrapper right here. Colored it indigo. Everything else is within a container. We just have a brand logo for the site title. We also have a UL float it to the right and we hide it on medium size screens and down. Then we have this anchor tag, which has a class of side nav trigger and a data target of mobile links for this. And when we click on this icon for small screens and it only shows on smaller screens, then it shows this navigation right here. So materialize sorts all of that for us, does all of the heavy lifting. All we have to do is this kind of HTML and then just activate the side nav, which is this thing right here, using jQuery and this method, side nav. That's all there is to it.